Growing up, I was taught to save money, spend less, and find the cheapest available option pag may kailangan akong bilhin. I never bothered to ask the question kung bakit. And now that I'm an adult, parang naging curious ako sa money, and gusto kong bigay yung sarili ko ng valid reason kung bakit kailangan akong magtipid. And in this video, I'll share to you some tips on how you could spend less without getting miserable while still living a more meaningful life. First, let's talk about materialism. Growing up, we are taught na the more, the merrier, the bigger, the better. The more expensive the material is, the better it is. Uh, which is sometimes is true, but majority of the times, it's not. I think this is the reason why we are so materialistic. Uh, the people and the media around us tells us na, ah, you need this, you need that. Uh, if binili mo to, you'll be more accepted by the society, which silently sets up to be the prisoner of her own self. Growing up, I used to play a lot of basketball. And kahit naman ngayon, I still play basketball. Pero noon, nung bata ako, I used to have this kind of mentality na uh, I want to have yung signature shoes. So these are the Kobe's, the Jordan's, the LeBron's, the KD's, uh, which are more expensive than the usual shoes. And yung mentality ko back that if I have these shoes, I will play better basketball. But in reality, hindi naman talaga totoo yun. Or deep inside, it's just me inflating yung ego ko na I wanted to be accepted and look cool uh, sa mga kaibigan ko, sa mga kalaro ko ng basketball. Which is a wrong kind of mentality and it took me a while before I moved past out of it and sometimes even up to today, I still suffer from that kind of materialistic mentality. Uh, example nun is, here in my YouTube videos, what you don't see is yung mga gears na ginagamit ko. And minsan, I, I have this parang mentality na, I if only I have this kind of lens or yung gear, I could improve yung production quality in yung mga YouTube videos ko. Which is not true. Which is totally bull****. It's not true. Uh, Anisip ko nga na, better storytelling talaga will way improve will significantly improve yung mga YouTube videos ko more than any other gear na pwede kong bilhin which leads me to another point which is yung intrinsic and extrinsic uh, happiness you get out of an expense let me illustrate to explain it to you better To give you a brief idea about intrinsic and extrinsic happiness, I would just say that an expense that has intrinsic value gives you longer lasting happiness and a deeper sense of worth from your money, while extrinsic value gives you value from the outside like fame, status, meaning you're spending your money for people to accept you and like you not because you really like it. I stage intrinsic and extrinsic value of an expense at the end of the video. For now, let's move on to FOMO or fear of missing out. FOMO or fear of missing out, and why does this cost us a lot? If you're like me, you have different sets of friends. I have college friends, I have high school friends, I have basketball friends, I have family and relatives. And if I try to be present for all of them, I won't have anything left in my pocket. In today's age, and daming masayang group activity na pwedeng gawin. It could be as simple as playing board games outside, drinking coffee, uh, drinking alcohol and booze at night, or kaya naman to go on an event, or kaya naman especially to travel. Uh, if you try to be present sa lahat ng gala ng barkada mo, it won't be sustainable anymore for your finances. Every time you go outside, it's already an automatic expense. So what are my suggestions when it comes to this kind of situations? Pick important events na to be present for your friends and be fine to decline dun sa ibang ayaw ng mga tropa mo na hindi mo naman talaga kailangan puntahan. And be fine with it. Hindi tayo bata na kailangan pa magtambuan if hindi sumama yung tropa natin sa lakad natin. Plus, find ways to make your friends feel your presence kahit hindi kayo physically nakikita. In today's age, the digital age, and dami ng ways for you to make your friends feel your presence kahit hindi kayo physically nakikita. I have this friend, si Monique. She lives in the US, pero yung feeling namin, she's just around na she's more connected to us than any of our other friends na nandito lang naman. Again, I'm not saying that uh, digital presence is better than physical presence, but it's a good alternative if you're really on a tight budget. Last topic that I wanted to speak about that is connected to spending less is delayed gratification. When the digital age comes, uh, it allows us to have services that wasn't available before. It allows us to get almost anything we want within the reach of our phone. And there's a lot of benefits that we get in the digital age, but one thing we tend to forget is in delayed gratification. I honestly believe that timing and spending is crucial. If you take a responsibility at the wrong time, it could cause you to take unnecessary loans or debts. Buying a car, buying a house, and having a baby at the wrong time could be detrimental to your finances and having no sense of delayed gratification 
would result for you to spend more money than what you just really need to spend. I don't know if you mapidik sabi ko does make sense or it goes in the narrative of uh, the power of spending less. But what I just really wanted to parang uh, end up here in this video is that the power of spending less will not certainly make you rich, but it will help you to control your expenses which will allow you to achieve financial freedom. One thing that I wanted to focus here in the last part of this video is don't let others dictate what is important to you. Don't get a car, don't buy a house, don't travel, or don't buy anything kasi you want others to make you think na you are successful. I have a friend na sobrang brand conscious and we have another friend where yung buong family niya is naka Louis Vuitton na bag and naka Gucci na damit. And sinabi sa akin yung brand conscious kong friend, ah, uh, pre, gusto ko din ng Gucci na damit. And then nung siya, bakit gusto mo nung Gucci na damit? And yung sinagot niya sa akin, wala lang, astig lang. Yun lang yung sagot niya sa akin. But I know, deep inside, yung gusto niya talagang mangyari, why he wants that Gucci shirt is to signal wealth and that's a trap. It could lead you to a hedonic treadmill or hedonic adaptation. So ano yung ibig sabihin nito? Ibig sabihin nito is yung state of your happiness na pagka may bago ka, parang excited ka and sobrang saya mo and at some point in time, it will go back to normal state. So ano yung pinakamaganda example nito? So let's use yung brand conscious friend ko. At first, he started with parang yung clothing niya is generic department store na mga damit lang. Then, nag-upgrade siya into Uniqlo, he becomes happy. Tapos, excited siya because, oh, uh, naka-Uniqlo na ako. And at some point, at some point in time, diba, parang nagiging normal na sa kanya Uniqlo. And parang, yung state of happiness niya, excitement niya, dies down. Nagiging normal na yung state of happiness niya. And then, he goes to Gucci. Nag-Gucci na siya ng damit. And at first, again, it, yung excitement niya goes up. And masaya siya because nagiging nakaguchi na siya. And at some point in time, it, it will go down again. Yung, and yung happiness state mo will become stable again and hindi na masaya. And will go on and on and on and on. Parang finding happiness over material things. And pagka ganun yung nangyari sa'yo, uh, you, if you never find uh, parang a deeper sense or meaning into your expenses, you'll face a never-ending desire over material things. Going back dun sa intrinsic and extrinsic value of an expense, spend more of your money dun sa mga bagay that gives you intrinsic value. For example, uh, spend more money on experiences that allows you to have a deeper sense of gratefulness to life. So parang experience other cultures, ganun, or kaya naman, spend more money on educating yourself on things that really matters to you. Spend your money on things that really matters to you and adds value into your life. That's it. I hope I was able to communicate my message well. If I'm going to summarize tong buong video to into one sentence, this is how it goes. The true power of spending less is not for you to save more money by buying less expensive items. Rather, the true power of spending less is it gives you freedom to choose what really matters to you and spend the right money on it. Okay, ayun lang. I hope I was able to uh, give you the right message na gusto kong sabihin. Please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. That's it. See you in the next video. Bye! This is actually a working credit card. This is a supplementary card dun sa card ko na ginagamit. It's actually working, pero hindi ko siya masyadong ginagamit. So, I just decided to cut it for a video. Okay, bye!